guys welcome back to my channel so I know it's been a while since I've done a story time video I've just been having a very busy life lately so it's really hard for me to just sit down and kind of sit on camera and talk to you guys so I kind of just film when I'm getting ready so that's why I really don't do like um, talk through videos but I want to so I'm going to start trying to do that and so today's video by the title is my lesbian girlfriend and no, you guys, I'm not a lesbian, so I know that a lot of people are going to be like, what? You are a lesbian? I am not. I am happily married, and, you know, this is something that is just a crazy story that happened. Um, so you guys know I do have a lesbian sister. I love my sister so much. She is married to my sister-in-law, Myra, so I really love them so much. And this is back in the day when I only had Amy and Haley. I only had two kids right now I have three so those of you that are new to my channel I do have three kids but this is when I only had them two and then I re remember Haley was little so I kind of touched bases back with one of my friends that I went to elementary school um I had lost touch with them because in seventh grade I ended up moving so I started my new year in eighth grade in a different city and a different school so I lost touch with everybody so that was back in the day when I didn't like I mean there was not really cell phones well there were cell phones but we were too little to have cell phones we it's when we were like with the pagers I didn't even have a pager as well so I really didn't keep like in contact with people from back in elementary school and I kind of found we kind of found each other I don't remember how so we ended up starting to hang out a lot um she did have a friend and I'm not gonna say names because you know I didn't ask permission to talk about it like to kind of put their name out there so I'm not gonna even say names but um she did have a friend that is a lesbian and I am really cool with people I love my friends like the gay community I just love them so much I feel like I can get along with them a lot more I don't know for some reason like I feel like we have this connection so right off the bat me and this girl became really good friends and I mean the issue that I have is that when I used to play soccer I couldn't really be friends with my lesbian friends because their girlfriends would get jealous and it was just you know it would be like a lot of negativity and I honestly didn't want to have to go through that so this my friend kind of started hanging out with me and she started bringing her friend with her her friend is a lesbian like I said and she was she is super nice and she's a really amazing person um she really loved hanging out with my girls and my friend as well we were getting ready to do my daughter's birthday party that was when Haley was gonna turn one and she helped me do my invitations by hand and we kind of did all these decorations ourselves and kind of you know we were kind of doing it all DIYs so me and this um, other girl, um, her friend, became really close friends. So we used to hang out all the time. So even if my friend didn't come over, her friend would come over and we used to hang out all the time. Like all the time. So she was kind of becoming my bestie. And uh, believe me or not, you guys, I really don't have a lot of friends. Like I kind of stick to myself because I've had so many negative so many bad experience with other girls like i become really good friends with them and i kind of share my secrets with them and then once they get mad at me they kind of use it against me so i'm kind of tired of that and said you know what i'm just going to keep it to myself i'm just not going to have friends i'm just going to not you know do all this friend thing so i decided to just be by myself so me and this girl really became really good friends and i think she did have a girlfriend at the time and i remember we decided that we were going to go to the flea market the swap meet um to kind of just go walk around i know they have one at whittier in whittier because i'm originally from whittier california and they have these at night so i remember that it was just going to be my sister myself my sister's girlfriend at the time um my friend and her lesbian friend um so we were kind of really hanging out all of us together it was so much fun you guys like my husband was working so he's like you guys can go ahead you know whatever i'll just see you guys at home so i was like that's cool so i remember you know i had that double stroller is the one that you put one in the front and one in the back so i remember i had amy and Haley on there and my friend was like i will push the stroller for you and i was like okay cool so my lesbian friend decided she would push the stroller so i remember we were walking around for a little bit and we were about to leave already so we were kind of done and 
I guess her ex-girlfriend or her girlfriend was trying to get back with her, but she was just too much hanging out with me that she didn't want to get back. I don't know what was the deal because honestly, I, I try to stay away from like other people's business because that's not my business. I'm just trying to like have fun, you know, whatever. So I remember my friend, she was pushing it. My lesbian friend, I'm just going to say lesbian friend. I hope it doesn't offend anybody, you guys, because I don't want to, you know, offend anybody. But I did, my lesbian friend was pushing the stroller. And then all of a sudden I see her let go of the stroller and she starts walking in front. And then so I got the stroller and I'm thinking, what happened? So when I look up, I see her girlfriend coming up talking crap to her telling her oh you like to play daddy now you like to play daddy honestly to be honest with you guys i didn't even get it until like the end because honestly like i'm not even like i don't know i don't know why i didn't get it so i didn't get it i don't understand what she was meant by that and i guess she was trying to um fight me because i guess she was thinking that i was the new girlfriend or something i have no idea and i was like i have my children I'm not going to go there because I have nothing to do with this. I don't know what's going on. So I just grabbed the stroller and I kept pushing and walking out to get out of the, the swap meet, the flea market. And the girl was yelling at my other friend, uh, my lesbian friend, like, you like to play daddy now? That's what you're doing? You like to play daddy? She was saying it, like, really loud. I wouldn't be surprised if people were just, like, staring at us, like, what is going on? So it was my sister, my sister's girlfriend at the time, my friend from my childhood, and her friend. And... Now his, her ex-girlfriend or her girlfriend, I don't know what's the deal. We just started walking out, ignoring the whole thing. We just kept walking. We let her deal with that girl because, I mean, it had nothing to do with us. Like, I really wasn't going to go there. So we start walking out and the girl's still yelling. And I kind of, like, snapped. But I had already put my children in the car and my sister was, like, helping me put them in the car. And I remember I kind of snapped and then i kind of told her like why you you're so mad that she prefers me than you i don't even know why i said that you guys i just kind of snapped because i was like thinking really dude like i'm married like hello i'm married i'm not gonna go there like no no i'm married my sister is here we're just trying to have fun you know it's not my fault your friend your girlfriend doesn't want you so i remember telling her it's not my fault she don't want you you know i i kind of went off i kind of went crazy but then in my back of my hand my mind is like my kids are in the car i want to scare them so kind of like whatever so i remember my childhood friend and her and my lesbian friend grabbed the girl and they walked out and they kind of talked to her so I was like getting in the car and I kind of drove where they were parked just to make sure that everything was okay. And I see my lesbian friend crying on the floor. Um, she was crying because she felt so embarrassed. Like she was like apologizing to me. Like, I'm so sorry this happened. You know, I don't know what's going on with her. She's very jealous. Um, blah, 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 blah. So I was like, no, you know what? Don't even sweat it. It's okay. I mean, I don't care. You know, it's just that you kind of need to talk to her because that's not cool. You know, I'm like, I'm just minding my own business and all this is happening. I guess... My lesbian friend was supposed to be with her, but she was spending too much time with us that she was kind of getting jealous and thinking that it was something going on between me and her or something. I have no idea. And it just like crazy. They ended up breaking up, of course. Um, now that I know, my lesbian friend has a baby. The last time I heard, because I really don't talk to her anymore, uh, she had a baby and her ex-girlfriend turned into a tomboy. So now she's like... She dresses like a boy. She used to dress like a girl when she was with her because my lesbian friend is the boy and she would be the girl. So now the girl is the boy and she's with somebody else. So it's, I have no idea. And I only know this because I saw it on Facebook. <laughs> I don't know this because I'm like in person. But my lesbian friend did have a baby, she said, because she did come over once like maybe a year ago. And she had a baby with her and she said she had a baby. So I didn't want to ask how she got a baby. I mean, obviously. But, you know, I didn't want to say anything, but yeah so that's kind of my story of my lesbian girlfriend that i almost got killed beat up over with that i wasn't even really my girlfriend but it was a quick little it was really hectic you guys imagine fighting for someone at the swap meet like that was kind of ghetto and crazy like no that's not happening so yeah, that's practically my little story. I really hope you guys enjoy it. I do want to make more story time videos. It's just that I got to find the time to be able to sit down and talk. Right now it is going to be 11. So I really have to rush out and go pick up Junior. And yeah, so if you guys want to hear more story time videos, please give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye guys.